In less than five minutes, I'm gonna teach you guys how to functionally use GoodNotes on an iPad. Maybe you are a long time user or someone that's first being introduced to digital planning. Today, I'm gonna to show you some basic tips how to write, type, highlight, copy and paste notes, and use some pro tips to maximize your digital experience on the iPad using GoodNotes. So join me as we move forward. I'll start by saying that GoodNotes is the PDF annotation app that is available on the iPad as well as any Apple product. If you have a desktop version, an iPad Pro, an iPad Air, an iPad Mini, these are all devices that can sync your planner, your journal across them seamlessly using your iCloud account. Today I'm going to show you some basic tips as you get started. We'll start by opening GoodNotes 5, which is the latest version of GoodNotes going to go ahead and open our planner. If you guys haven't already installed your planner or PDF annotation uh, PDF that you'd like to, go ahead and check out our tutorial on how to do this on our website. But here is our key to success planning system. If you're not a current user, that's okay. We're still going to go through and teach you how to use all these tips and tricks on whatever planner or PDF annotation app you're currently using. But this will be something that you'll want to experience. The first thing I'll share with you that's really exciting about using GoodNotes is its ability to use hyperlinks. Make sure when you use hyperlinks, if you have a pencil, is that you have the pen mode turned off. And you can recognize that by, if you look across here and you see your toolbar for your pen, it's turned on. By tapping here, you can turn it off. This allows you to use your pencil to slide throughout the application. Now in our planning system, you can see along the left and right side and throughout the document, various hyperlinks. So I can easily jump into my home and get to our first page of our planning system, I can go ahead and jump into a particular month like January and move right to that page. Now what's also really cool about GoodNotes is you can build hyperlinks within the planning system. So if I wanna click on January 4th, I can do so and it'll take me right to that particular page so that I can see that. In our planning system, we go a couple steps further. We have individual dates that you can individually jump on each of the pages at any time and move throughout the planning system. Maybe you want to get to your goal pages, your meeting pages, your project pages, your note pages, or you want to look at your quarterly plans. You can do that very easily by using the hyperlinks in our planning system. It also has the ability to reach outside links. So in our planning system, on each individual page, we, we have a link to the weather. By clicking so, a pop-up will come up and it'll show you how to get to the internet and you can see in Wisconsin here, it's 29 degrees. Now, from here, we can start our journaling experience. So first and foremost, go back and turn your pen tool on. This will allow you to start using a planner as a planning system and be able to take notes either via your handwritten or type functionality. Now you can easily go through with your finger while you're doing so and slide through the pages. However, during this time period, you cannot tap on any hyperlinks. If you want to get to a page, turn it off, go ahead and jump back to the page that you want to get to, and you can easily navigate. Turning the type tool on, the first thing we'll show you is how to handwrite in GoodNotes. So you can see here, I can zoom in, in if I'd like to, and I'm going to write down that I'm going to have lunch with Tom. Now I can go ahead and I can also click on my highlight tool, and I can select a color. I can also select a thickness. So we're gonna pick yellow, and we're gonna go the medium size, and I'm gonna highlight that time, just like such. Now maybe Tom calls me and says, I want to move till one o'clock. Something came up. We can use the lasso tool, and we can select that annotation, and we can slide it to one o'clock. Maybe for one reason or another, we need to go back and erase something, and we can do that real quick and easily. Now we can go ahead and stroke erase, which allows us to only erase the strokes. And as you can see right now, it says disable, do that again, disable highlight only. What's really neat about some of the options in the erase tool is you can select to erase only the highlight or you can erase other things. So here, we're gonna turn that off. Now, it'll go ahead and erase the stroke. I can also go in and say, turn that off, and now 
it'll erase just little bits and pieces of my handwritten function. I personally like to have the erase the entire stroke on. It makes it a faster and more enjoyable experience. But I can go back and I can lunch with Tom. Now there's also some additional features where you can click on the pen tool and you can have a fountain pen, a ballpoint pen, or a brush pen. And then that'll give you a different experience and you can see here that you can adjust the different pressure sensitivity, the sharpness, however you so wish. I am a big fan of the ballpoint pen and have been since the third grade. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna highlight this again. But maybe for those out there that maybe have a keyboard or use their iPad as more of a computer base, you might wanna quickly be able to type some notes. And you can easily do that by clicking on the type tool. And this will allow you to select an area and then you can go ahead and I'm gonna say meeting with Nancy. And I can also then take my finger and I can slide that meeting wherever I want to go. And if I want to go ahead and still highlight it, I can so do so. So this gives us some really awesome functions. Now, one thing that I've learned with the planning system is a lot of times as I'm planning something, I want to be able to copy my notes from one day to the next. So let's go ahead. We're going to turn this off and we're going to jump into January 4th. On January, I have all of these tasks. I can go ahead and I can select using my lasso tool and I can tap and hit copy and then I can move to the next day and hit paste and now I can move those notes on here. This is really beneficial because maybe a handful of those things I was able to get done. Got the haircut scheduled and I took care of these tasks here and now I can select these tasks and I can move those up in my priority. Where this eraser tool really comes a beneficial is now I only want to erase that highlighter tool so I want to get rid of these but I want to keep my notes because I'm going to reprioritize those actions with a different color. So we showed you guys how to type, we showed you how to handwrite, we showed you how to turn on and off the pen mo mode. We showed you how to use the lasso tool. A couple other pro tips I want to show you is how to do side-by-side -side journaling. I can go ahead and I can slide up, I can select my Good Notes app, and I can drag it on the screen. And now I can have two pages. Where this is really helpful for me if I'm doing weekly planning, looking at my goals, or maybe for example, I want to have a note page. So I might have my notes page open here, and I can go ahead and on this page, I can write some notes while still looking at my calendar on the left side. A lot of time throughout the day, I will have my calendar in one screen and my note page in the other screen, or I'll have a master to-do list, or I'll just have additional notes. You can also take your finger and you can slide the iPad to adjust the amount of viewing space that you have. Another big thing that I do is side-by-side -side note taking. So let's just say I have my Bible. I can drag my Bible into this screen, I can pull up a verse, I can easily take notes about the verses and such that I'm reading. Maybe you have a website that you're looking to view or there's something that you want to uncover, you can easily take care of that with having split screens and that's one thing that's really powerful about good notes. Have that split screen capability and have both apps open side by side. A couple other things you can do is you can go ahead and add pictures. You can also go ahead and take pictures and you can even draw shapes. A lot of times what I'll do is one big thing is if I am looking at a project online and I see something that I like, I will go ahead, I will open up that web browser, I will take a screenshot of that particular item. I will then save it as a photo, jump back into my note section, pull up, my photos and paste that right in here. And now I have the ability, if I want to mark up this particular notation, I can do so. It's really not hot in Wisconsin in the middle of December, but wishful thinking, right?
So that's it. I hope you guys are excited to start digital planning or I hope there's a few tips in here that really help benefit you in your journey. If you guys want to check out our planner, go ahead and do so. If you found some use out of this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more tutorial videos on planning, technology, and just things that are overall interesting in an exciting world of living life. I'm Brandon Bonifer and I'll see you guys in the next one.